So I get. I don't need no life. Wait. Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa. Well, folks, I think I'm gonna call it a night. Um. That's a bug. So last Saturday, a fan game was released called Mega Maker. Completely fan game, has, has no affiliation with Capcom. Um, and I've, I've dabbled a little bit with it, I've played some levels, um, and it looks amazing. Um, I've actually built a level myself, which tonight I will attempt to upload. It's rather difficult, so it might take me a while. Uh, but I figured first, we'll check out some levels. For now, we're just gonna browse and see what's out there, and then try to upload my level. So yeah, welcome to Mega Maker, everybody. Let's sort by... Oh, the oldest, best breed... Best breed... Ah! Uh, Let's hit the popular ones, why not? Well, I mean, by popular, I mean best rated ones. Let's start with the best ones, and then go from there. I'm gonna skip Mega Mario 1-1 because I saw somebody play it. It's a recreation of Super Mario Bros. 1-1. Snooze. So, what do you mean that is not hell? Oh, uh, I've seen someone play this, too. Okay. Just for kicks. I'm gonna assume this is a... Um... So they made some enhancements of the existing power-ups. And so, for instance, Wave Man... No, uh, Charge Man Slide. Yep. You can do that now. Which I think is pretty cool. Okay. So here we go, we're going to check out what we can do with Charge Slide. And got nothing else. Can I hit that? Okay. Just dabbling, I wanted to see if I could maybe bounce off the ball. Oh, another great uh, improvement that they made, which is very popular so far in the levels I've seen, is that uh, Top Man's Spin, you can jump off the enemies. So there's been a lot of bouncy levels. Megatroid? Okay, I'll check that out. So I guess I already hit it once, and I was still in there, so I couldn't hit it again. Noted. For some reason, I thought this whole section could be done without a slide. I was wrong. And that was just bad. That was just bad. We'll do it the safe way, okay. <laughs> embarrassment. Absolute embarrassment. <laughs> I don't know, dude. Don't know what I'm doing right now. Stones. Hey, what's up? How you doing tonight? Happy Friday. I mean, yeah, I'll give it a thumbs up. It seems like right now the the most popular levels are the um, are the tech levels. Just explaining some cool stuff you could do. Release hard.
Dance it, Mega Man. Dance it. Whoa! Okay. Wasn't expecting that. <laughs> For some reason I thought that water was ground. I have no... Is this an auto level? For the record, I don't have a buster right now. Oh my god! <laughs> and you're gonna fall right in? No? Do you want to? Yeah, you do. Bird Talk, what's up, man? Happy Friday, how's it going? That was actually kinda cool. I kinda wanna replay that again. I wanna see what going up does, but... Do it one more time. I want to see what going up does. Okay. Never mind. You have to go that way. Okay, the Invincible Napalm Band Chase by Dr. Zonian. <laughs> so you saw that. I'm a little ashamed of how long it took me to realize who that was. And by realize, I mean... Oh my god, is he just gonna chase me the entire level? That's awesome. That's awesome. I'm not doing this well, I don't think. Mario streamer. He's a Mario Maker streamer. I'm a, I'm a big fan of his. In fact, the uh, level we're going to be uploading later, or attempting to upload, is dedicated to my favorite Mario streamer, Grand Pooh Bear. So, um, but again, we will play that later. Hey, Pixel, you know where I, uh, you know where you? Okay. Eh. 
Didn't quite mean to do that. Or there are there are five different animated gifs of Mega Man dancing. Oh my god, there's freaking spikes. Um in the in the uh, from a Google search. <laughs> hmm. There are a lot of spikes in this level. Checkpoint. Ooh. No, I knew I'd regret that. Um, but this one certainly has a chance. I mean, the the recreated Mega Man physics are spot on. Um, I don't know. I, it's kind of like apples and oranges. Mega Man X is a professionally made game, and uh, this is a fan game that has a lot of fantastic potential. Peanut butter and jelly time version of Mega Man, that's awesome. <laughs> Checkpoint! Ooh, spikes in the boss room. That he doesn't freeze you on the drop. Ow! Crap! No! Squishy, squish. me towards the spikes. Give me some life! Yeah. Uh, what good are randomly, random floaty dudes that don't give me life? So I get... I don't need no life. What do I do? Kill me? Not cool, game. Not cool. Ow. So you usually find Stone Man pretty easy, but the spikes don't help. And the lack of charge. Lack of charge shot. Hey! Hey, 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 hey. Okay, stay away from me, I dude. Stay away. Stay away. That was a that was a toughie.
do get thumbs up, sir. Alright. How to use NATO, I've seen that one. Cucumber Castle. I hope this game gets a, some sort of either story mode or like uh, a version of Mario Maker's 100 Man. Do I have to go up? No, I want to go up? Nope. Um, I like a challenge where it picks eight random bosses. I don't know, I'm trying to beat you. Alright. So another level showing some neat things that you can do with uh, those platforms. Secrety to me. Aha! Oh, I don't need it whatsoever. In this way. Yeah, unless you're unless you're Nintendo. I know that. Ooh, tricky. There's a lot of potential here. Um. The amount of customization that's available is far more intense than um, the Mario Maker. Because uh, it uses sprites from all six games, has enemies from all six games, music from all six games, backgrounds. It's pretty impressive. customization in, in Mario Maker is unfortunate because even though like you have the choice of creating a oh, shoot oh that was good um creating lo levels from the four various um side scrolling games you only really get to choose between like the grasslands the underworld and a castle well and a kind of Ghost House and Skyship, but everything is very repetitive. Uh, ooh, okay. I got this. I got this. like crazy difficult, I am kind of bummed when you don't actually get to fight a boss. That was cool. Oh, I know. Okay. Melee Man by Mathis. I like the upvote, downvote system. That's pretty cool. Freaked out on me for a second. This looks from the. All I got? Oh. I liken this to the, uh, the tail in Mario 3 where you can float down. That's Sniper Joe. I've actually I've seen this level thing. Yeah, so all the like the tech levels and the how-to levels are the most popular this far. Ha <laughs> ha 
I was hoping to go right up that one. There's some, there's some neat stuff. Whoa! Okay. Aw, oh, <laughs> I got that. Then I saved myself. Just the tech level. I want to see something creative. Putting my money where my mouth is by deceased crab. I'm also assuming that they're coming out with um, some expansions shortly because there's not a heck of a lot of enemies or bosses available. Like, they haven't used every single enemy, every single boss, every single stage um, from each game yet. There is so much room for additions. thing I want them to hurry up and add are the uh, the bad guys that fly out of the pits and hit you. Is that that's a great way to troll people. So like right there, something will shoot out and get me on my way after my jump. This level is a very classic Mega Man style level. Whoop. It's easy though. I also hope they add uh, completion rates. What was I saying about being easy? That was embarrassing. That was just terrible. Okay, I think I'm gonna um, I'm gonna attempt to upload my level after this. Then, um, jump. Um, and then come back to some levels. Alright, here we go. Let's go. Oh, 
That one was too obvious not to be his weakness. Uh, you can use Quick Man. I think you can use Quick Man's uh, sprites um, for levels, and they have those those beams that kill you in one shot. That beams. So if that's what you're looking for, then yeah. Uh, but as far as Quick Man as a boss, I don't know. We, we would have to go check it out. Okay, let's. Let's, 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 let's upload this guy. Okay, so again, um, I, I'm dedicating this level to my favorite Mario streamer, Grand Pooh Bear. Uh, so this is named Grand Pooh Man for him. And here we go. This, this level is genuinely difficult and also has some trolly moments. And I'll try to point out to you my favorite troll moments. Uh, and hopefully things don't take too long. So if you don't want too many spoilers, if you just want to check out this level on its own, not that I'm, I don't want to kick anyone away from my stream because that'd be crazy, but um, I don't know, maybe glaze over some details. All right, let's do it. This is Grand Pooh Man. the aesthetics of this level are very nice. I, I found three... I, I found a thematic way to do it with some good colors. So, GPB, Grand Pooh Bear. Alright, starts off with some relatively simple, classic Mega Man looking uh, platforms with some... Platforms with some gaps. Um, so even though I just died in one of the easiest parts, it does start off easy but it'll get quite more difficult. Uh, starting with this. Okay. I'm half screwing up on purpose to show you guys everything that's going on. Um, but that's like the first challenge, uh, that little bit. And what you want to do is just run... Okay. You want to leap off that ledge as far as you can, so you're on the right side of that platform thingy that will shoot up into the spikes. Right. But you just want to run and shoot. That's what you want to do. Okay. This room, although a little uh, hectic with stuff, fairly, fairly easy to identify what's dangerous. So those guys in the middle can be a headache. Alright, so these shield dudes, like you want to get up there and then you just want to jump over them. Oh wait, no you don't. Because there's a whole roll of spikes on the next screen and they do affect you down below. So if you jump at that level, you will die. So that is troll number one. See, that one's not exactly perfect because sometimes you end up shooting the platform that you want to uh, run across on. So, for that reason, it's a little, it's a little hinky, but it's it's fairly consistent. All right. So, without jumping, if you don't want a damage boost, you just gotta do this until they destroy. Okay. So this next part. You want to make sure to jump on the... Whoops. Whoops. There it is. There it is. That's a little platform part that brings you up the level. And... One of the... One of the more jankier things about that is... That's why I have them there. I have them to shoot down and hoping they'll, uh... They'll hit you. Anyway, so for that platform part, one of the jankier things, and I wish um, it was a little bit better design, and by design I mean by the game makers and not necessarily me. Um, if you don't 
get on the platform immediately, the timing gets a little bit off, and you can't reset it by going back down the ladder. So that's one of the things I wish they could improve, is uh, screen switching with reset stuff. But anyways, what I was saying is you want to get on this platform immediately, otherwise one of the parts will get out of sync. And you have to go down here with it. And then here's the toughest part. Whoop! That's the part that gets out of sync if you don't jump on it immediately or you miss your chance. So it's a little difficult after that. I know this is very simple. Hey, now we're in the clear! Oh no! More spikes. So that one I showed on purpose. Hopefully I can get past that point. Again. I don't want this thing to take forever, but I do want to show you the trolls. I wouldn't say I'm necessarily proud of those, because I'm sure that'll be a high, highly used troll in this game. But the next one, I'm very proud of. I keep forgetting those up there, because those were a late addition. Right. So, soft jump. Alright. So, most people would think that they're, they're super safe. Um... So you slide here and just start spamming shoot because that guy, if you don't shoot him, will knock you dead. If you don't hold right, you fall in the pit and you're dead. So that's definitely a troll, but I don't feel like repeating things. Okay, this next section I'm pretty. This next section isn't troll. This is actually just pretty fun. I'm proud of this section, with the exception of like the guys that jump right in your face. Um, this isn't troll. Got a little bounce in Snap Joe. Okay, so the top left corner, there was an E tank where you have to clear up this crap. I highly recommend getting the E tank because you'll probably need it by the time you get to the boss. The best way to kill this guy is just to bounce and keep on shooting. Alright. Okay. So I'll jump here. I'm very proud of this jump. It's really tight. No! It's really tight because sometimes holding the, the jump button to make you go higher is a little finicky. Point. Okay. So you're gonna inch your way as uh, far as possible. And jump, because it dies. Okay, that M tank is completely not gettable. In fact, um, no, I did not put any spikes here, but could you get it? You know what? I honestly did not... Okay, yeah. Maybe if you're at the very edge of the spikes and you have some momentum, you could get it. I kind of put it there just to tease people and toy with people. I mean, I could add a troll of another... some spikes right in the middle, maybe? I don't know. I'll try one more time to see if I can get it or not, but... I want to say it's ungettable. Which is what I want. Okay. Ah. okay, damage boost you can get it, but crap. I kinda wanna get rid of that. I don't I don't want that gettable. <gasps> I know what I can do. Oh, this is dirty. This one's dirty. Oh, I know what to do. This is gonna be quite evil. I'm gonna be so happy with this. Okay. Uh, so, another probably commonly used troll will be the fact that um, bl there are black spikes that completely blend in, for the exception of a couple pixels, to black backgrounds. So, if you do happen to get over there and damage boost like I just did, I still don't want you getting that shit. That M is a troll. I want that. I want that M tank ungettable. So, I like that. That's dirty. That is dirty. Okay, back to uploading. We'll have to... Okay, so that M is now totally ungettable. Um, so, 
my first Mega Man level, I had to add one of those classic uh, spike falls. I was kind enough to at least separate the screens. Okay, so those platforms are there. If you stay on them, they will... Oh, I'm not gonna make it. Okay, so if you stay on those platforms or any sort of time, they're going to go right into the spikes. Um, and then the final insult to injury, uh, for that part at least, is you have to go back to the left and hug that wall as tight as you can without hitting the spikes because the only way to get to the next checkpoint is to hold left. Okay, so we jump down, get off the platform, get off that platform, and hug. Oh, I get it. Yeah, there we go. All right. So this next part might take a while. Um, I did practice it, but not that much. So I'm not as I would just created it today. Right. So this is okay. That's a fairly simple section. You just got to keep on running off. Um, but that last jump is a, like a loop around type deal. Yeah. Okay. This is the tricky part. So we had a, uh, a vertical ramp part, and here's a horizontal ramp part, where you're dodging shit coming at you. Oh god, you're dodging spikes! <laughs> While trying to stay on the platform. So this part is a little evil. I want to say that any of this is hot garbage. I, I tried to, I tried to not be too trolly for troll's sake. Like, I wanted the trolls to at least be intelligent. Um, so I tried not to enemy spam. Ah, that's just, that's just a tough jump. No, I disagree. I, trolls, when they're well done, okay, yes, your definition troll, it's impossible, by definition, they cannot be, that is tough. Um, by definition, they cannot be intelligent. But when it comes to, like, Mario Maker and Mega Man Maker, when you do a troll right, it can be highly, highly entertaining. That's why, that's why my little troll with the enemy floating right where the slide deposits you is my favorite, because it, it lulls you in a full sense of security since you just beat the platform, the platforming part. Um, and also too late. Man, that's a jump. There it is. Okay. I think really you just gotta ignore the enemies as much as you can and focus on staying on the platforms and avoiding the spikes. Oh shit! Shit, shit, shit. See, going down is the tough part. Going down is really tough. <laughs> so it's not impossible, because I got up there twice already, but it's definitely freaking hard. There we go. Oh shit! Oh, I thought I landed on the bottom one. Damn it! Check, 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 check! Ooh, that was a weird fall. <laughs> I'll be honest, sometimes them hitting you helps you. Okay. That was a little goofy. And I put a marker there. Oh! I put a marker there to tell players when the platforms go back. That was nice of me, I think. Um, Get down there! Get down there! Uh, yeah, at some point you're just like, hit me! Just hit me! I don't care, as long as I stay on the platform. Alright. Huh. Oh. And also the tricky part about that jump is you have to be at the bottom part, like... 
top part of the doors, unless I just did it wrong once when I was building it. I just have an issue getting in the top part of the door. Like, you have to land right um, at the bottom section of the doors to let you in. No, get down there! Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh, that was close. That was close. Alright, stay down there. You guys drop shit there. Okay. Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! Damn it. <laughs> I should just realize something. I have rush. I could cheese that. Uh, so that's... Didn't even need him. Didn't even need him. Henrik G, what's up? How are things going? Oh shit. Oh. That was weird. Ha. Huh. Ha. Huh. Crap. Okay, so I added those platforms as an aesthetic thing. Just as like a flash of red light. I don't know, maybe it's kind of cool to give him like an entrance like that. That's why I gave the E tank. I'm not, I'm not pure evil. Slightly more. Upload! Oh, you make, you're uploading a, a level now? Awesome. This is my very first uh, upload. Yes, I do. Okay. Uh, for those who are interested in the level ID, there you go. That is Grand Poo Man. So check it out.